All right, everyone, I just wanted to give you a few tips on how to use Eclipse. There's two things we're gonna go over specifically. We're gonna go over packages and IntelliSense. So really in Eclipse, packages are just different programs that are in the same project. So if we go and look over here, we can see that we have the Hello World project, right? And uh, we made that a while ago. And then we have this folder called source, and that's the source code of the project. But what we can do is we can we can s make new packages, which are like new folders for new projects. So if you're doing assignments or different homework and you want to do it all in the same place, you could do that. Um, to make a new package, you just go new package and you give it a name. So we'll just call this test package, right? And now if I make a new class in test package, I could start another main method in this new class. I'll just call this tester. Um, I could start a main method here and run this main method instead. So it allows you to kind of split your programs into different places, which is nice. Uh, one thing you do want to know is that whenever you make a new package in Eclipse, everything that's within that package needs this package header just to tell everything else what package it's actually in. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you very quickly is called IntelliSense, and it's really, really useful. In Eclipse, if you type something like main and you press control space, you get these things here, these, these little um, suggestions on what you might be wanting to put down. And I know for a fact that if I click on this main here, the main method, it's going to automatically write the main method for me and this can really really speed up when you're trying to program this also applies to things like uh, methods that you write so for example let's say I write public static um, void method like this and I want this method to system dot print line happens just to test it now when I'm here, if I start typing method like this and press control space, it will actually suggest the method that I created. Uh, just to absolutely show that to you, cust one, two, four, five, like this. Now if I type the start of that name and then I press control space, there we are. It automatically knows where it is and automa automatically typed it for me, which is super nice. Um, that's also true if I make a variable, so int x equals 7, and then what do I want to do? I want to system, actually I can use it here too, look, system dot out dot print, there we are, print line, and now I'll call this Godzilla, and if I tar start typing Godzilla, control space, it'll automatically put it in for me press save. Now if I press play, because we're in the test package and not in the default package, it's going to play the main method of the uh, the class that I'm in. So I press play, happens 7. Perfect. Um, that's all for now, guys. If you want to see more tutorials and more uh, student-made content, make sure you check out the TVM uh, Facebook page. Uh, make sure you check out the TVM YouTube page even, and I'll see you next time.